Hey there, welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of tiny and creative homes and showcase stories of people living alternatively. In today's video, we're traveling back to Luxony Tiny House Community in Arizona to meet tiny house owners Kirk and Deb. Take it from me, one of the problems with living in a tiny house is that you don't have any space to invite over friends and family. Well, Kirk and Deb came up with a solution for that because they bought not just one, but two tiny houses. They use one for themselves and the second one as a place to host friends and family. And we're gonna take a look at both tiny houses today. If you like these kind of stories, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know every single time I publish a new video. Hi, I'm Deb. And I'm Kirk. And this is our tiny house. We were looking for property to potentially build a cabin, and then we ran into Luxtony. We're driving through, and all of a sudden it said, open house. When we stopped and came in, I was so amazed that it didn't seem tiny to Shockingly me. Shockingly large. It didn't feel small, tiny, none of that. It was amazing, just like a cabin. The next morning I said, I know this is gonna sound crazy. This might be a better solution for us. It certainly checks all the boxes for the two of us to come up and to visit stay a month two months whatever the case may be and so it's worked out amazingly it has a lot of woodworking features that are very interesting to me it's a perfect fit for all the live edge type of woodworking that i do I'm an epoxy master, I'm an artist in four galleries, and I do work on skulls and resins and coppers and patinas. And my shop is located nearby here, so very convenient to work and live close by. It's in my heart to do this kind of work, so it's absolutely a perfect fit. You do not own the actual property, however you pay a lease. And that lease can be around 300, depending on the parcel that you have. This tiny house was for sale for 75,000. The deck that we plan and all the materials cost us about $8,500. I would say we're probably at about 82 on everything that we've invested. This is a faux stone and also a faux wood, but they're made to withstand the weather for long periods of time. The combination of everything is kind of a classy look for a tiny house instead of just a normal paint job. It blends well with all the colors of the deck, the gravel, the flowers, the plants. It's kind of a natural look. Gravel's basalt is crushed up boulders from the area and then pavers to start the deck. And then I made the steps kind of short for my mother to get up and down off the deck. This material for the guardrails is a Baltic birch cabinet quality plywood. A CNC machine person was making children's toys out of, and he was throwing this away, but it was too cool and too structural to let that happen. So I turned it into our rails of our deck. With the deck, we have a lot of outdoor living space. I don't feel like I have a tiny house. So here on my tiny house giant patio, you have one of my very cool during the Game of Thrones times idea. I found this lightning struck ponderosa pine tree in the forest, got a wood permit because I saw this and I knew exactly what it would be as my throne. We have a large backyard, and so we're working on the landscape. We've completed some of this somewhat. We're going to have a picnic table and stuff. 
and I still have to joint the grass. And back here is going to be full of vegetables as well. I grow a lot of peppers and I dry them all separately. And then I like to smoke my peppers. It's incredible on your food with some smoked peppers. There's nothing like it. I love my smoker and I love smoking my chilies. So not only am I planting trees and doing landscape in my own yard, but I'm planting 60 plus trees in the neighborhood. So in the future, everybody can enjoy the beautiful aspen trees and locust trees and pine trees. So now we're on the inside of my not so tiny house. It's more like living in a regular house. Full size refrigerator, full size gas oven, granite countertops, backsplash granite and tile, plenty of space for any kind of cooking needs. Over here we have some of my handmade furniture. This is a coffee table with resin. The wood is mesquite. And then this desk slash countertop area is black walnut where I leave the bark on. And then up here, we have some actual lights that we created for a small space and works quite well. And then we carried some of the detail from outside inside with the rock features and such. And then we have our wine cabinet. And then it's still cold at night here, so I'm growing a lot of my plants inside, some trees for the neighborhood also inside that I'm propagating. We have a mini split system. It's a heat pump and AC all in one, and it handles this square footage really well. One more piece of art that I've done in here is this actual cow skull that was kind of rotting away. So I did some of my tricks and techniques on that. And now it will go into a gallery in Scottsdale, Arizona. And then this is another live edge, sort of a floating shelf that's made out of a tree that you can't really buy anywhere. So you have to know about it to acquire it, but it's silky oak. And once again, I leave the bark on, it just adds a lot of extra features and details. And then over here, we have a copper and patina deer skull with rusted horns. So I'll polish this just a little bit more to show the copper in the deer skull. And then moving into the bathroom, once again, I don't feel tiny. Full-size shower, full-size closet for all your towels and toiletries. Full-size everything, plenty of space for all your needs. Then into the master suite. We have pocket doors. Here we have full-size washer and dryer. Very nice, very functional. Large TV on the wall. It's, when you're laying in bed, it's like a movie theater. Then we have a closet, very spacious closet. And this headboard we acquired from a lady. It was handmade in Mexico, so it kind of fits my style and looks beautiful in the decor, very matching. And then, kind of rare, a cigar box guitar actual real cigar box it's electric it has all the stuff a real guitar has in it and the neck is made out of indian rosewood book matched that's why it has this cool feature in the middle i milled the wood myself a guy in colorado built this for me i traded him some wood for the guitar he was extremely happy and so am i we've been here two years we have a really good friend here who basically said, hey, I just want to let you know, my tiny house will be for sale. Would you be interested? We decided that it was a really good thing to do because 
we can have our friends come up and then our grandchildren can come up and stay. So it gave us more options. This is our second property. And the thing that I like a lot about this property as opposed to the other one is the fact that it's flipped. We have the living area that's facing the street and we have a lot of flowers that are blooming in the spring. So that's really fun. The one thing that we really liked about this layout is the fact that we have full size appliances in our kitchen. A lot of people that do come up and want to stay for a good week or even a month, they really enjoy having a full size refrigerator as well as range. One of the things that we have found being up here in the White Mountains is a lot of folks want to bring their pets. So we allow pets. And with that, we have two doggy doors. You're able to go out for an entire day, leave your doggy doors open. Your dog can go out to the fenced area and play all day long. The bathroom, we have a full-size shower. things about the bedroom that we added is we added a memory foam queen size mattress also we added blackout blinds to the bedroom in the event you want to sleep in in the morning we also have a, a TV once again that you can use and we have a full-size washer and dryer available I enjoy a small space because I've just learned to consume less. You don't need 15 bath towels, you need two. So you just have a tendency to live more simplified. Very simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you'd like to see a tour of Luxtony Tiny House Community, make sure you check out the video in the description below, and I will see you soon with another tiny or unique home tour.